हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू विद द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ हेलो एरिन्स एज आई टोल्ड यू इन प्रीवियस वीडियो द न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो एरिन्स सो ना नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज सेकेंड इज द रिएक्शन विद एक्टिव मेटल्स लाइक मैग्नीशियम लिथियम सोडियम एंड कॉपर पाउडर सो स्टार्टिंग विद द वेरी फर्स्ट दैट इज द रिएक्शन ऑफ हेलो एरिन्स ब्रोमो बेंजीन वैन ट्रीटेड विद मैग्नीशियम so this is the direct reaction when hello erin is come in contact with magnesium and in the presence of dry ether so it forms grignard reagent so similar reaction is observed for hello alkanes as well so here it forms mgbr or the general formula for this is because it is a aromatic ring so simply for aromatic ring we represent ar arrow for aromatic ring and the product form here is mgbr so ar mgx so this is known as greek nard reagent and this time it is formed by aromatic compounds so similar reaction is for chlorobenzene when chlorobenzene is treated with magnesium but the medium is dry thf thf is tetrahydrofuran and in previous uh, reaction it is dry ether so this reaction uh, carried out in the presence of dry ether and in case of chlorobenzene it uh, carried out in the presence of dry ether and the product form here is grignard reagent and here it is mgcl uh, here mgcl is form on the ring then next reaction of uh, hello erin is with uh, lithium so again it is the formation of direct formation of organo lithium compounds here in this case uh, if we use twice moles of li it forms li and one li and br is out from the reaction so organo lithium means if we represent the same reaction in molecular way the formula for uh, uh, bromobenzene is c6h5br plus twice li so it is easy to understand this in this way li br is out from this reaction as by product and the product form here is c6h5li phenyl lithium is the name of this compound phenyl lithium and again this is a direct uh, carbon and metal bond so that's why this compound is known as organo metallic compound so these are two reactions of uh, hello erins with uh, active metals magnesium and lithium now the next reaction uh, is with sodium metal so when hello erin chlorobenzene is treated with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether so it forms uh, aromatic compound and biphenyl is form in this phase c6h5 c6h5 with the elimination of nacl 2 nacl is out from this reaction and this reaction is uh, very similar to that of woods reaction so as uh, i told in uh, uh, previous video for hello alkane chemical property of hello alkane woods reaction when hello alkane is treated with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether it forms alkanes and here aromatic compounds are formed so this reaction extend in this way one chlorobenzene here it is two moles so uh, simply we write one chlorobenzene then two na sodium metal plus uh, again write second mole of chlorobenzene now it is one mole one mole two mole and it is better to understand in this way two moles of chlorobenzene when treated with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether so it forms biphenyl or diphenyl we use this term c6h5 c6h5 so this compound is formed with the elimination of 2 nacl and this is a specific method for the preparation of biphenyl or the chemical property of hello erin 
and uh, the name of this reaction is Fittig reaction. The name reaction is Fittig reaction. And uh, here in this particular reaction, we use two moles of haloarenes. So instead of using two moles of haloarene, if we use one mole of haloarene and one mole of halo alkane like this when CS3Cl plus uh, C6H5Cl is treated with this 2NaCl. So instead of using uh, one haloarene, uh, sorry, two haloarene, if we use one haloarene C6H5Cl and one aliphatic compound that is CS3Cl. So the combination of these two compounds, one is aromatic and one is aliphatic. The reaction conditions are same and that is in the presence of dry ether. So here the observation is also same. 2 NaCl is out from this reaction and the product form here is different from Fittig reaction here. The whole part is out only CS3 alkyl part is remaining and this compound is methyl benzene or commonly known as toluene. Toluene is formed in this reaction and the reaction combination uh, is known as woods because one is aliphatic compound and uh, the another substrate is of aromatic that's why it is a combination of woods and fitic that's why this reaction is known as woods fitic reaction. So uh, uh, with the reaction of uh, sodium when sodium is treated with haloarene there are two cases when haloarene is uh, two moles of haloarene is treated then biphenyl is formed that is known as fitic reaction and when both uh, aromatic as well as aliphatic if we are using aliphatic as well as aromatic it forms woods fitic reaction and the product form here is toluene or any alkyl any alkyl substituted uh, hello uh, arene or hydrocarbon so now the uh, last reaction of hello arene with copper powder so again this is a specific method and in this method we use idoarene instead of using chloro or bromo here we use two moles of idoarene is treated with copper powder and upon heating this is a symbol for heating delta it forms again the product form here is same that is diphenyl or biphenyl with the elimination of CuI. So in this reaction two moles of idobenzene, idoarene when treated with copper powder and we represent uh, two moles of idoarene or idobenzene separately one is this and one is this. So it is very easy to observe this. And it is very easy to understand two moles of CuI is out from this and the product form here is two moles of sorry uh, diphenyl is formed here with the elimination of twice CuI and this is a specific method of uh, 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 preparation of diphenyl and, and the chemical property of idoarene and the name reaction is Ullmann's reaction. Ullmann's reaction. So this is about uh, the reactions with active metal. Now the next reaction is reduction reaction of haloarenes. So if chlorobenzene is treated with in the presence of nickel aluminium alloy with alkali like NaOH this is the sign convention for reduction. Reduction is actually the addition of hydrogen to the ring and in this reaction HCl is removed from this reaction and the product is formed here because if HCl is out one of the hydrogen is introduced on the ring and it is converted into aromatic hydrocarbon with the elimination of HCl and uh, the reducing agent here in this reaction uh, we also use LiEl-H4 for the reduction of haloarenes this is also a reducing agent lithium aluminium hydride or nickel aluminium alloy with the presence of alkali. So uh, this reaction we can also understand in this way. This is the formula for C6H5Cl is the formula for aromatic haloarene with the elimination of twice H reduction here in this reaction. 
this C6H5Cl forms C6S6 and this is the basis of aromatic ring and in, in this C6H6 is formed. So this is aromatic hydrocarbon and this is the most common aromatic hydrocarbon that is known as benzene. So this is all about the chemical properties of haloarenes. Thank you.